How do you securely wipe your drives before destroying them? Well, today we're going to talk briefly about that with a Linux distribution that I was just made aware of with some recent changes streamlining their approach. Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to talk a little bit about wiping your drives, and we're going to be looking at Shred OS, which I had not heard of before, but kind of like there's there's a Clonezilla and there's the recovery drive, drive system we've seen. Well, there's a Linux distribution specifically to securely wipe your drives. That's kind of neat. Now, before we get into this, I do want to mention that mostly this is going to deal with regular mechanical hard drives. You might be getting rid of a computer or just swapping out a drive. Whatever you're doing, you need to dispose of that old drive or, hey, just maybe wipe it, keep it clear for maybe some cold, cold, cold data storage for you later. But today we are going to have a look at this. Of course, it, how data deletes, everything has a header and then the file. And if you delete a file, the file kind of remains, but the header is removed. But then there's applications. Recuva was one of them for a while. There's a number of different applications on any platform that allows you to run a disk through it, and it will seek to recover the type of data. It looks at all the data blobs, matches the patterns, and says, hey, would you like to restore these look like JPEG? files. Uh, let's. Would you like to restore them? And yes, you can do that. So simply going in and doing a factory wipe of your system or like a, a Windows factory restall uh, before selling your computer to somebody is not enough if you want to securely wipe your data. And this applies to phones. This applies to uh, Windows, Mac, even Linux, you need to make sure that you are securely wiping your drives. Now, as when it comes to SSDs, because they have a limited number of write cycles, there are some, uh, some caveats to it that your SSDs, they tend to work in such a way to prevent this type of approach. So what we're talking about with overwriting it with ones and zeros or random data generally is generally speaking is not a particularly uh, good way of managing SSDs but it actually does turn out that as far as SSDs most of your manufacturers actually provide for you a way to wipe those drives securely so you just choose your SSD manufacturer click on the button now the downside of this is that most of these are Windows or Mac applications I have not tested any of these in wine they might work now, there is one of the methods in this particular approach. It says it works on SSDs, but it's doing a 35, uh, 35 uh, time wipe. So I'm not sure I'd want to use that necessarily. For SSDs, you might want to do that. But if you have mechanical hard drives, we are going to be looking at Shred OS. You can download this, and it basically runs a easy-to-use version of the application called NWipe, which is enabled to wipe your drives. The other good thing that this has for your corporate and your enterprise approach is your wiping your drive will give you a certificate of each one of the drives. So when you launch this, it will actually save a copy of the certificate on the installation medium that you're using once the drive is done. This of course is useful for situations where you need to uh, you need to go in and wipe the drive as part of your job and have some form of certification. So this report can either be printed out or saved with a data file with the drive, and it gives you the full specifications when the system went out. Let's see if we can see this bigger or not. I'm not sure. Uh, so you're going to see um, it's just kind of a cycling uh, GIF file. So. Uh, it's basically it gives you the the readout looks like maybe like a the smart uh, smart disk data image. It tells you the erasure details, the make, the model, uh, so all that information. And it will have a barcode up here that will have information about your uh, your drive wiping. So that's actually really nice as well. Now, as far as NWipe itself, it has several different models to it. And uh, what we're 
doing here. Uh, these are the erase models. You can do fill with zeros with a single round, fill with ones with a single round. We also have the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, which fills the drive with maple syrup. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, eh? But uh, now this is what is required to pass the RCMP technical security standard. So if they were disposing of drives, it would have to meet this compliance. They do have the American ones here that uh, um, Hillary was unaware of, uh, but we have a DOD short for the Department of Defense, short three pass white, passes one, two, and seven, or they have the longer full seven pass white DOD 522.2 to 22M. So those are methods. The only one of these that mentions anything about solid state is the Gutman wipe. This is a 35 pass wipe that does allegedly remove data from uh, mechanical hard drives and SSDs. However, with 35 passes, I'm not sure if that's actually good for the drive. Um, Peering is the one that's going to fill it with uh, just random number generation, and then we can verify zeros, verify ones, and then uh, we have over here, it includes the uh, random number generators for just a few different options. So you just go into your download option. Let me see if I can find the download options, if I can find them there. So in the newer version here, which have uh, been released um, not too long ago, uh, the newer versions here, you can uh, grab them from the image file. This is the image file that uh, you just write to a USB drive. You can do an ISO, which you can use for Ventoy or also probably write that to an image file, whatever else you want to do with it. Uh, and then I believe this one allows you to uh, this one allows you to select all of your options. The second, the third option down here, rather the um, uh, non desk uh, desk uh, D set. This one, I believe, is the one that when you plug it in, it just automatically wipes all drives the system finds. So if you're looking for like the, ooh, someone's knocking on my door really hard, ah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what that one's used for. Uh, there's older versions there as well. And uh, it is actually a pretty easy system to use. Uh, so we'll go ahead and have a brief look at how the system works. So I just a, a note, I recorded this really well. I had my doors open, but the wind was really bad. And so it just produced really bad audio. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the video that we did. And I'll just kind of voice overlay the parts that are important. So I have a number of drives plugged in here. I have the J Micron is actually the SSD and uh, the other ones, I forgot to push the button there, but uh, the other drive should be the mechanical hard drive, which will be there when we start it. I'm going to push the power button now. But uh, then we're going to actually boot this off of Ventoy, which is the UAEFI SanDisk partition 2. Now, the other two drives were effectively destroyed by the uh, attempt to do elementary OS, if you remember that video. Uh, so we're just going to wipe them here. So into Ventoy, I'm just going to select the Shred OS, and then we can choose how we boot this up. And so we're just going to go ahead and boot that up into our normal mode there. And then once it's booting, the first thing you're going to see it do is it's going to scan the USB drives looking for extra drives. So here is the initialization on the USB. There's a timeout there, but it should find all of the drives and devices pretty quickly. You'll see pretty soon here, it'll launch up everything finds all of the drives and then it makes a partition table and then now is displaying us all of our drives. So I have SDA, this is the mechanical hard drive. That was not on the uh, initial boot menu. That's the one I forgot to push the power button. SDB is the Micron uh, Tech, which is the SSD. And the 30 gigabyte SDC is the Ventoy disk, which of course we don't want to do. So we just select the one we want, highlight over it, and push the space bar, and that'll tell you wipe right in front of it. So we're going to wipe A. And if you want to, you can actually wipe multiple drives at a time. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to run it on the mechanical hard drive. Now, you look at the very bottom of the screen, and there's the capital S for start. There's the M for method. And then uh, P is the random number generator. You can verify it, do rounds. You can blank it. Uh, so there's a number of options there. We'll start by pressing M and see all the options. So these are all of the options that we've already discussed. So we're not going to discuss them again here. We have our fill with zeros, fill with ones, our maple syrup, our etc. So you just want to select the one you want, press the space bar again, and then that's going to 
give you all of the, uh, that's going to select your, your method of wiping. We're going to keep with the method we already have. So press our space bar in order to select that. And then we're going to go back to our main menu again. So now that we're on our main menu, we want to start it. If we just push the little S, it gives us the warning. We have to type Shift S in order to start it. So you want to go ahead and type your Shift S, and that's going to launch the start. Now at the bottom, you can see you can press B to toggle between your dark, your blank, and your blue screen. So we'll test what that looks like here real quick. And then back to the main screen here, we can con cancel this by pushing control C and then that's going to exit the program. And then we can choose to relaunch the program, restart or shut down. You can see from the information up here that it's giving us how long it's been running and approximate run time. So it says here that the approximate run time is 20 hours. That's actually gonna ramp up here. And I let this run for about another 10 or 15 minutes. It ultimately hovered around the 90 megabyte per second range, which at a one terabyte disk is going to take about three and a half hours to do. So I don't have a real serious need to wipe this drive. Uh, I'm going to just wipe this guy out here and then just reinstall something else back onto it. But uh, if I wanted to securely wipe it, let it go for about three, three and a half hours, it should be done at that point in time unless the throughput changes. And then uh, once it's done, you have nothing left on this drive, no partition tables, no data. You will have to restart everything there from scratch. So there we have an excellent way to securely wipe a drive. Again, this is mechanical hard drives, which many of you may have floating around. And if you're thinking you need to get rid of them or there might be data on there, in some cases you might have passwords on your files, whatever else you do want to make sure you have a good way. So I'd recommend downloading this. It is a whopping 250 megabytes to download. You can throw it onto a Ventoy disk with a number of other tools, such as maybe your Clonezilla, your recovery options, all these different options that you have. You can go ahead and run all of those on side of a, a single Ventoy drive, and then you always have them floating around whenever you need to do something like wipe a drive, recover a drive, clone a drive, things like that are excellent tools to keep around for this purpose. So with that, we will go ahead and leave this video here at this point. If you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like and a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.